verbal contracts. This is so vital for relationships. And so many people think that they have to have the relationship that they had, that their, their parents had, their grandparents had, their uncle had, whatever. And it's like, no, you don't. You can have the relationship that you want, you and your partner agree to. And it's like, you can have that relationship. You just have to talk about it and both agree. And yeah, sometimes one partner is not going to agree that you work it out until you both do agree. Because this is such, I watch so many couples have such a challenging time with each other. And it's because one does something that the other one isn't in agreement with. And instead of like, hey, let's talk about this. It's like, it's a, it, it becomes a power struggle. And so I want to give you some examples. Like one person may want to be monogamous. The other one wants to be polyamorous. The other person needs to hug and cuddle people, um, you know, platonically and just like, you know, non-sexually. And the other one might get triggered by that. You figure out how to work that out where everybody feels safe, where it's not a constant like, um, no, 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 because you, you, if you're always saying no to your partner on what they desire and what they would need, guess what? It's not going to work. You have to find a way to work together. And then also, but the biggest thing in that kind of situation is you need to figure out if you trust your partner, if you don't trust your partner, you probably shouldn't be in a relationship with them or you need to do some work, inner work. That's a completely different story, completely different topic. Um, so things like some people really need to be supported in their work. I had an experience with one relationship that he had a hard time supporting me every time I started getting really successful. He also had questions and doubts of like what I was doing in my classroom. And I kept saying, come, just come, it's just come. And then he came and he was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm awesome. He was thinking like I was doing, you know, sexual acts in my, <laughs> my classroom. I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, and this is funny because it was a, you know, I don't know, God, this was 18 years ago, 19 years ago. And then he came and he wanted to come to all my classes because he got a visual, he got an experience. And that's sometimes what we need to do is give our, our partner experience. Like hugging is this, it's not ripping my clothes off and being with the person. And obviously if that's what you want, then you need to talk about it and find out if this is something you both can handle. You know, the verbal contracts are working out all the minute details of a relationship to like make it work. Some people, a verbal contract is, I want to do the finances. Another person's like, let's split the finances. Let's figure that out. Another person is like, you know, um, I, I know one couple that they were completely monogamous except for on certain days. And they would say, these are the days that is them. Don't ask, don't tell, you can do anything you want. Um, that was a verbal contract for them. Other people are like, they just, there's so many different realms of like finding out what kind of relationship do you really want? What do you really need in a relationship and what you really want in a relationship and talking about that or even like a verbal contract around, um, oh, these are good women's periods. Um, when we are on our moon, Sometimes it's really good to tell our partner, okay, I can feel it. It's coming on tomorrow. So this is how I might be, or even the day of, just say, I've started my moon. I might be a little sensitive today. I might be a little cranky, or I might be a little tired, or I might be like an angry bitch, you know, whatever. Fine, if whatever you think or you know you to be, let them know ahead of time. So then they know how to handle it and let them know how to handle it. I need a lot of space. I need to be cuddled. I need you to just bring me warm soup and a hot water bottle. Can you massage my back? It's like sometimes I just need you to massage my back in this time. You know, it's like let them know beforehand how you are so they don't have to guess on what you need. You know, you let them know ahead of time. Or another one is, you know, a lot of times men come home from work, you know, if if they go and have a job you know, if they're not working at home, even not working at home, when they stop working, they need to 20 to 30 minutes to transition from like work mode to like, oh, I'm home and I'm with my partner mode. So, you know, it's a good 
time, if you know that about yourself, men, let her know, like, hey, when I come home, I just need 20 to 30 minutes of unwind time. I'm gonna go off to my cave. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Typically, they're reading something. They're browsing the internet for something. It's just to relax their brain, and then they come back and be with you. Um, women, let them have that time. And if women, if you're the more masculine, you probably find that you do that too. I know I'm one of these people that I come home, you know, when, when I used to have a job, I'd come home from work and I'd be like, oh my God. So I could just tell my roommates or whoever, my partner, and i just say, I just need 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you talk to me about anything. And I let them know that up front. And guess what? They did it. Because most of the time we want to make each other happy. And who cares if we have to wait 20, 30 minutes 